Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Wave high, Ragnaros. <laughs> so, in case you guys missed the last episode, I finally got used to uh, how to level and all that stuff. Made a little bit of progress in Heidi's Tower, or whatever the hell it's called. But I've also been playing around a little bit on a different character. I mean, it's a completely different build. It's actually started as a twin sword class. But there's these giant... I don't even know what the fuck to call them. Uh, homunculus, I guess, would be the term to use. There's actually two of them. You see the one, but then there's this one. Yeah. The game's a bit of a douchebag, and it throws one right around the corner for you. So, I'm gonna do what any self-respecting Dark Souls player does, and that's retreat! Keep him close enough so he doesn't lose interest. Help him cross this log, nice and fine. Uh, that didn't work as hoped. There we go. Work, you dude. Yes, drop off! Drop off! Yes! And now all I have to deal with is one of you. Give me your thousand souls. Hey, what the hell? Kind of treading in deep water there, dude. You should back up a little more and then you'll be dead. Dead! What's the matter? Has the CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Dylan! You son of a bit! Oh, Jesus. These guys are hilarious. I mean, they take a hell of a beating. But they're so fucking slow. And the kicker is, they're so clumsy that they'll fall on their ass, and that literally hurts you. Now, that doesn't seem like it's done on purpose, but it's so easy to manipulate. And for a thousand souls, I mean, they don't... They don't respawn. But for a thousand souls, you know what? That's a grind I'm willing to go through. And it's not even really a grind. Ah, that's what I thought. You got nothing. And, um... Hmm. Examine. What's inside this coffin, I wonder? I know what's inside, but... Let's just... Yeah, homeward. Homeward, sure. <laughs> um, wait for it. Alright. Ragnaros, step out of the coffin, and... Oh my god! The Fire Lord has changed sexes! This was... This is unacceptable. The Fire Lord must have his big ginger beard. But yeah, if you ever want to change genders, that's actually how you do it. Uh, I find that funny that they actually have that option in this game. But these two guys, you know, they drop souls. That's one thing. And yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Back to the manly Fire Lord who will eventually wield a big fucking hammer and pyromancy. But, um... And I guess for some reason the hollows respawn. I'm not sure why. But there is one other homunculus, which is actually outside of the uh, the house where we started all of this adventure off. There, there's a, a couple of little twists and turns that you can take, and it's actually very interesting because there's all that stuff available like right from the start. You don't have to do anything. It's all right there for you. But it's recommended that you at least talk to the witches to get your humanity back and get your weapons and all that stuff. But yes, back to where it all began. I also tried lighting all the torches. Um, it does absolutely fucking nothing. I kind of figured that it would do nothing, but there's this feeling in the back of my mind like traditional RPG player. You gotta light them all. Maybe it does something. Of course it doesn't. But, there's a rusted coin, which increases our luck, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, oh god. These little rat thingies. Not interested. Please, don't mind me. What direction am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go... 
god, how am I getting lost in this little field? There we go. And up this path, through the shrubbery, giant footprints. This is, this lets you know if you're right at the start of the game that you took a wrong turn. Because those giant footprints lead to another one of these guys. Now this one, he doesn't even try and, oh, fuck. No, no, he does try and sit on you. I just, for some reason, got lucky my one time fighting this guy. And, uh, he, he, like, kept trying to face me. But no. Now he just wants to keep falling on his ass. That's okay, fatso. You're nothing. You're nothing but a freaking lard ass. I'll kill you eventually. There we go. Now, the reason I wanted to kill this dude is he drops a ring. The stone ring. Andy was dropping or er, guarding a body, which is a gold pine resin. So we remember those. That gives your weapons a temporary lightning element. Plus, it makes them very shiny, which is always good. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of extra stuff that I felt like doing on the side. Uh, from here on out, once again, I'm going to be going completely blind, but I just wanted to go through the game again uh, a little bit in the intro and, and try some stuff with my own character class. So, that being said... You have proven yourself to the forest. Have I? We have little to offer, except perhaps these. Give me some effigies. Handmaidens... Wait, what? A ladle? May they bring fortune to your journey in some small way. You, you, you give me a... Are, tell me you're not serious. Is that seriously... Handmaid... Oh my god, it is. It... Is this real life? It, it, it is. It's a fucking ladle. Oh yeah! I can't imagine that could have a great amount of offensive potential. Oh well. Um, if I killed these people, would they drop humanity? Oh, no, I'm sorry, effigies? Probably. Hey! Obviously, somebody's killing the witches right now. Yeah, you're a douchebag. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's just, um... I suppose if I'd have been smart, I'd have just traveled to this bonfire from Majula's bonfire, but... Far fire. Let's get back to where we needed to go. I am packing 3,000 souls so I can level again. That'd be a good idea. The scythe. If only. That's not a scythe, that's a halberd. Never before have I seen a scythe that looks like that. Bracing knuckle ring. So. Equipment. So that stone ring that that homunculus drops, uh, additional reduction of enemy poise. So I guess every d uh, attack you make also damages their poise more. What's this ring? Oh, the blue seal. Covenant ring for apostles of blue. Is that like for you to summon in case somebody gets invaded? Like, Kind of like how you would get that little auto summon for whenever... Uh... Oh, that, that's interesting. Oh well. Talk to me, girl. Bearer of the curse. Seek so... Yeah, yeah. Larger, more powerful cult souls. Seek the king. Blah, 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 blah. Level up. <clears throat> Give me levels. Now, let me see here. If I increase adaptability multiple times in my agility... Uh, it does. It's just really, really bad scaling. <sighs> agility, huh? I'm very curious if that does increase your movement speed. It probably increases, like, your rolling speed or whatnot, but I don't know. Uh, let's bring Vigor up one more notch, and my strength is good for right now. 
Nah, let's strength one more time. So vigor of nine, strength of eighteen. If I want to use a big fucking hammer eventually, I am going to need that strength. So, I wish I could tell you guys that I'm equipped to deal with mole rats. Unfortunately, I seriously doubt that I am. Fuck. I I'm, I'm not used to being able to warp this early in a Dark Souls game. There's so many things I'm not used to. But I should warp back to the uh, Forest of Giants. Or Forest of Dead Giants. Forest of Fallen Giants. Forest of Stupid Giants. There we go. So convenient. There are a lot of things that they added to this game that, that make it harder, but that's one of the things that I can really get behind because it, it, it removes backtracking through areas as long as you've gotten to the bonfire. So that's good. That's, that's very good, as a matter of fact, because there's a whole lot of busy work in between here and there. Uh, you know, there's a gate, there's a sewers, there's about a one-minute hike in between, so that streamlines it very much. I like that. Now, dudes, look at me. Look at me. Come for me. Come for me, bro, and die for me. Pick up item. Life gem. You. You will also die. Flee before me. All of you flee. Ugh. Took an arrow. I don't know where I took it, probably the knee. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that sounded like it fucking hurt. Like, oh! And you're a dead man. There's that one that's like sitting down. It, you really do like shooting me in my extremities, don't you? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. There you are. I just never saw you before. I thought you might have been like a, a body that I had already made. But no, you're an enemy. Just playing possum. Well, I don't like possums. And I don't like mole rats either. And so help me God, sometime soon, I will be heavyweight champion when I destroy those mole rats. That's what's in between me and winning a belt. And I intend to win a belt before this series is over. I will kill these mole rats because it will make me awesome. Pick up item. Infantry axe. Ooh. That might be worth something. I mean, I know I'm the Fire Lord. I know I want to use a big hammer eventually, but infantry axe might... Wait, what the fuck? How do you get down there? Ah, uh, I see what you do. Wait. No, I don't. Gotta jump down from somewhere? Or... Well, at least you guys died very, very simply. <sighs> Only problem is... I'm not... really seeing how to, uh... Oh no, this is the way I take. Ah, you missed me. And now you're dead meat. Pick up item! Hollow infantry gloves. Is any of this stuff actually good? God damn it. Alright. Uh, let's check the gloves. Uh, versus hard leather. Hollow... Uh, nope. Everything goes down. Everything goes down. Let me see about this axe. Uh, it gotta be better than that fucking ladle. Alright. How does the ladle compare to my short sword? Why the fuck do I have a ladle? Isn't it bad enough that this game is just so full of things that make the difficulty harder on you? You, you get Handmaiden's Ladle. I, I'm sure it's even worse than, than these broken swords. Yeah, it is. So if you want, choose that thing that, uh, that you throw into a bonfire that makes the difficulty harder. Choose the Covenant of Champions. Go full hollow where you have half health and go with the Handmaid's Ladle and there you go. There's your masochism. Not me, folks. Not fucking me. No way in hell will I ever do that. Ah, okay. Hollow Infantry Helm. That's good. 
slide down, not fall down. Try jumping left side. So... Nah, nah, I'm not falling for that. I mean, you might be able to make that jump, but if you miss, you're dead. I'm gonna try the knight first. If I kill the knight, maybe I'll try that jump, but I don't know, guys. How does the axe compare to the short sword? It seems like it's the same. Um, no, no, uh, for the most part it looks like the short sword is better. I guess the hollow infantry just have shitty stuff. So let's put our Estus on. Prepare, Sir Knight. Dude, you are seriously decked out just like the Black Knight from, from Monty Python, I swear. Helmet and everything. Your knight's just white. Have at thee! Well, not like that. You're not so tough! I'm better than you are. I have no doubt that just a couple of strikes will actually kill my ass. No! Ugh. Alright. Oh, whoa! What the fuck was that? It's like a fucking Mr. Sandman uppercut. No, no charge whatsoever. Oh god, oh god. Uh, Sir Knight, you are indeed... Ah, fuck! So much wind-up. Life gem. Yeah, when he stops like that, it's like he's charging up and getting ready to kill your ass. No! Oh, damn it! Fuck! I no no no. I know I can beat you. I know I can beat you, dude. Please tell me that you're not like permanently aggroed on me now and that like when I come up the ladder, I'm gonna be dead. Please don't tell me that's the case. <sighs> that's what I get for poking the bear. I should have waited! I should have waited, you know, until a later time when I come back, kill the guy, no problem, dead. But no, I had to embrace the failure. Well, there'll be no more failures from me. Even if I have to bum rush into this and aggro everybody in the fucking pl Oh, god damn, that was stupid. Uh, oh no. It's like rage zombies are after me. Try luring it out. Try one at a time. Well... So far, so good. You're nothing. You're just fucking farmers. I know you're technically infantry, but you might as well be farmers. Uh, more infantry gloves. Not that I need any. The bright side to this whole equation is that it doesn't seem like going hollow right out the gate does anything to you. It seems like once you die as a hollow, that's when you start taking hits to your maximum health. So, I can dig it for now. I can't dig the fact that I'm almost out of life gems again, because those are really useful. But, it is what it is. Uh, I am fully prepared to deal with the consequences of my actions. And hey, the knight's just sitting. Cool! Good on you, sir knight. Oh, fuck. Retrieval! I won't be losing my souls on this particular sucker. That's right. God damn. Please tell me, Life Gem, thank you. Uh, and Life Gem, thank you. Can I stop taking arrows everywhere? Like, th this is going to be a little annoying every time I want to kill this, or try against this knight, because this archer is going to be here every time. And it's a bit of a pain. I understand it's the price of dying. That's that's Dark Souls. Oh, by the way, welcome to Dark Souls. I forgot. Because <laughs> I died. Um, another life gem. How convenient. 
it, it seems like items are dropping a hell of a lot more frequently than they ever did in Dark Souls 1. This pleases me. <clears throat> oh, boy. You know what? Let's start off with the life gem. I, I can take a hit or two from this guy. Circle, slide down, round two. There will not be a third, Tyson. You and I? One on one, bitch. Holy goddamn, you have some poise on you. Kind of like a drunken fist, dude. There we go! To the ground! Eat my sword, fucker! God damn it! Uh, no! No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, no. Use a life gem. I got you. I got you, knight. It only took two tries. But I am not gonna die. No fucking way. No, like, drunken fucker. There you get to the ground. Take that, you fuck. Hiding night sword. That's the tower that I went to. Huh, is that good? I, what am I saying? It's from a difficult enemy. Well, not difficult. What am I saying? Um... Actually, it doesn't seem to be much better. Like, show item info... Like, how does it... Oh, what? Help. What exactly am I looking at here? Magic reduction. Oh, what? A sword increases your magic defense? It... Oh, it's lightning attack! That's why it's weaker. It's a lightning element weapon. Hmm... Did they fix the problems with, or the balance issues with elemental weapons this time around? Because I, I, f I feel the nerf that they took uh, with when they finally balanced out elemental weapons in the first Dark Souls was a little bit of a like, serious nerf for them to the point where they weren't uh, like a real good alternative with just taking a weapon down plus 15. Um, and what's that stat down there? That's counter strength. Okay, so when you parry your, uh, and repost, it's a little bit weaker. Stability. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be defending with that thing, so... I'll give it a shot. I mean, if nothing else, it'd be a good alternative weapon. Better than this infantry axe, anyway. Plus, does it look cool? That's the ultimate... Ah, it looks okay. It's definitely bigger. And you know what they say about big sword. Wait, where the fuck did you come from? Get the fuck away from me! I got a lightning sword, and you are a dead man. Let's finally go through this fucking fog gate for the first time in... Oh, where the hell am I? What did you die to? Huh. I don't like this. Be wary of enemy. Aha! I knew it! Perks of playing online. Thanks, dude. Here's some Estus for you. And, well, if that even gives you Estus, I don't know. Uh, no, wait, that would give you humanity. Touch Bloodstain, how did you die? Oh, you are a douchebag, game! It's fucking awesome! <laughs> Alright, so a throwing knife, which I never intend to use. Try shield. Attacking required ahead. Oh, pick up item. A wood bolt. Oh, okay, so crossbow bolts. Sure. Let's upgrade all these YouTube comments, as Slow Beef would say. 
So I'm out of Estes. Holy shit! You're, uh... You remind me of those Balder Knights. You're definitely just as easy when push comes to shove, but then again, I have a really good weapon. Be wary of ranged battle. Sure, let's just keep operating everything. Let's... I kind of want to explore one bit at a time in a place like this, and... Oh, duo ahead. Oh, so that's how you would get to jump on him. I got you. So... Ugh, my last life gem. I'll wait just a second. Ranged battle. I see a dude up there who's probably going to ambush me the instant I fall down. Don't think I don't see you there. Douchebag! I challenge you to a duel. Come on. Go for it. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, what? Are you fucking throwing firebombs at me? Oh, those things have a pretty sweet animation. You gotta run out eventually. Ooh, what the fuck am I saying? Of course you won't. Alright. Let's go for it. Holy shit. This is a hell of a little area. Where are you at? Oh, uh oh. You can die. Pick up item. Hollow soldier helm. Mmm. Lot of hollow shit that I don't want or need. Probably looks like shit too. Ah. Oh, got. Didn't even see you there. You guys blend in really well. You're like solid snake. Pick up item. Hollow infantry again. And a buckler. Well, if I remember anything about bucklers, they had a pretty good parry window, but uh, it's completely different in this game. All the timing is just something I'm really going to have to get used to. But I mean, so far things are going okay. As long as I don't fucking die. A witching urn. And a dude with a halberd. Pick up item. Oh, soldier gauntlets. God damn it. They're everywhere. Bonfire head. Are you serious? Please tell me you're serious. This would please me. Ah-ha! Bonfire. What the hell are you? Are you a person? Or are you... Oh, you are. Hello, merchant. Nice to meet you. I'd like to sit at this bonfire and let all happy things happen. So, what do you got? Buy something. Anything. What are you selling? Oh, come now, help an old woman and buy something. What are you buying? <laughs> Actually, if you speed that laugh up, it would probably be a great Ted DiBiase impersonation. Oh, uh, what do you got? Ah, uh, Cestus. Isn't that that fist weapon? Eh. Uh, traveling merchant hat. I don't want your clothes, lady. Don't sell me the clothes off your back. Human effigy. Um. Is that five for 1,500, or do you only have five? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that, that's telling me that I have five of them. Wait. No, it's not, because I don't have ten life gems. I'm confused. Wait. What? I, I, whatever. Um, that's probably how many you have total. Because I don't have... Pharos' Lockstone. Activate Pharos' Contraption. 4,000 souls? Oh! Uh, open the shop to for, of the blacksmith in Bejula. There we go. I'll buy that. Um, 
I'm kind of interested in your life gems and human effigies, but I can always come back here after a little bit of grinding. I don't like grinding, but... Oh, Pharos' Lockstone. Activate Pharos' Contraption. God damn, this game. So tempting with all of it. Oh, Soul Arrow and Heal! The miracles and sorceries finally reveal themselves. Um... What is this contraption? I know I'm going to have to buy this eventually. Might as well do it now, but I don't know, like, if I'm wasting the souls now or whatever. Uh, the point is, is that I have the key to the blacksmith's place. Thank you kindly. Sure! Crazy merchant lady! Thank you kindly! Above. Here. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. You know what? Um, I wanted to try that little jump before I finish, but for now, I'll kill you. You're easy enough. I really like this Heidi sword weapon. It's probably Hyde or something like that, but I keep calling it Heidi. Um. Prudence required ahead. What kind of prudence are we talking about here? Are we talking like... Ambush below. Really? Well, I see you there. How did you die? I see. Ambush below. So I'm going to kill you with a leaping attack. Or fail completely. Saved by the overpowered knight weapon. I'm positive that it had to have like a 100% drop chance. Unlike the Black Knight swords and whatnot. So if prudence is required ahead, huh? Kind of... Alright, you just sucked ass at that jump. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, what? It looks like you bounced off something, dude. No, you, you just... Are you drinking and playing Dark Souls? Because that's not good. Human effigy. See, that's an easy jump. That, on the other hand, sucks. Uh, hello! Aim towards the bastard. Uh, dude! Die! Please! Thank you. More fucking infantry shit. It, I got a bad feeling, like, when I get to the bottom here, I'm gonna be, like, in the middle of either a boss fight or a gauntlet of these assholes. Uh, that being said, Estus up. No time like the present. Let's go down. There's all these blood stains. How did you guys die? Well, that's easy enough. Soul of Lost Undead and a torch! Not really sure if... I don't think torches are used to unlock secrets or anything like that. Because like I said, I lit up every single sconce in things betwixt on my other character. Uh, holy shit! You are an asshole! You are an asshole! You knock me off of a fucking tree, a fall that shouldn't kill me, boom, I die. Fuck! Your character really can't take falls in this game. I need Shalquar's ring. That's, like, not even optional, because the lamest of falls since this adventure started have been killing me. Like, that thing in Majula, sure it might break your legs, but I mean, you're undead. 
What do you need legs for? They'll just grow back when you die. I mean, <laughs> fuck. But, I mean, seriously, what the hell? What's up? Probably don't want to find out. Um, it's locked. That's probably for the best, because I, I don't think I want to see what's on the other end of that. Uh, what's this? Like, illusory wall? Hole. Kind of a hole. Like this hole? Or asshole? What, what kind of hole? I don't know. You! I know you're there. You're the source of some okay stuff. So, it would behoove me to kill you. 90 souls. Eh. It's alright. Let's try this again. So, prudence required ahead, blah, 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 blah. There we go. That's the kind of leaping attack Onage I was wanting to pull off. I want my souls back. And you farmhand Al Borland cosplayers are not going to be the cause of me losing my souls. Not today, not this time. Oh, Jesus. Who the fuck are you? Uh, that's a weird little hole in the wall. But no, I see you there, dude. And you. Oh shit. oh, shit. Please do not die. Come on, Raggy. I need to survive everything this game throws at me. Thank you, Retrieval. Um... Alright, now where's the asshole that killed me? He's gonna come up the tree in just a second. I see you there. Come on up. I got a present for you. Go for it. Go for it, bucko. Nice job, fatty. The, the messages in this game are, are really fucked up sometimes. They're a lot more complicated than the little messages that you would have to leave in, in the first Dark Souls. But I mean, fatty. I'm not si- Holy shit. Um, there's a lot of these guys. Where's the fatty? God. There's three of them. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna Estus up now. If I have to, I'll Homeward Bone out of here. But, come on. Come for me. Come for me, bro. Who the fuck is that ahead? That bigger individual. Guys, stop. Seriously. Stop. Get the fuck away from me. Now. You. Come towards me. Just you. Not whatever the fuck these are. They better be friendlies, because they don't look friendly. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Are you friendly? Please tell me you're friendly. What? Oh my god, they're turned to stone. Oh my god, they're turned to stone! Um... That's one clue that I probably need to follow. Something around here is petrifying people. And I'm going to assume that that means that there's something online that's petrifying people. And I'm seeing the end results. Um, uh, Hollow Soldier Helm. Oh no. I hear sounds going on in my system. That's usually a very bad sign. Oh god. Ranged battle ahead. Be wary of miscreant. Kind of miscreant. I don't think I should be here because there's fire ahead. Holy goddamn! Oh wait, what the fuck? 
That's what it means by miscreant. Oh, what the- where the fuck did you guys come from? Fucking ambushers! All walks of life! I am ambushed at every turn! This is my show, not yours. Life gem. Only one doing the ambushing around here is me! What the fuck is that that's frying, like, trying to fry me at range? Ugh. I don't want to be here. I don't think I want to be here at all. Life gem times three. Hurrah for fire. Sure, we'll go with that. Just go with it. And up the enormously high ladder. Hopefully to some salvation. Because, uh, th this part is... I keep saying that I want to do these in palatable fucking portions, but I always end up taking like 40 fucking minutes every time. That is unacceptable. But, you know what, Th this is as good a spot as any. I, I'll just go down here and that probably leads back to the bonfire. Hey, dude. Uh, yeah, this, this could be a bad idea, just running through this blindly. But, um, I'm remotely curious to see what the fuck is going to be the result of this. There's only one way, and that's by trying. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This is the way I wanted to go. Come on up for me. Come on up for me. Come on up the ladder. I know you want to try. Don't back up like a pansy. You're always going to sit there and camp for me, aren't you? Don't think I don't know how this game is played. Come on up. There we go. Boom. Get the fuck off of my ladder. Kicked off like a bitch. Just like a bitch. And now you, you are next. And where's your friend? No? No moss? Fine. We'll play things your way. That's where I have to jump from. Let's try this and try this only once. Uh, oh! Oh my god! That was actually a very easy jump. Soul of a Nameless Soldier and ten throwing knives. That was so worth my time. Um. Bonfire. Bonfire. Fast. Fast, 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 fast. Hello, dudes. Uh, get the fuck away from me. If I die, it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, because I gotta use a human effigy anyway. Bonfire. Sit. Bonfire. Success! Travel! Get the fuck out of here. Back to Majula. That was fun! Um... That was very fun indeed. And that being said, I keep starting and stopping back here in Majula. Something's gotta give. Variety is the spice of life, but... Uh, this game is kicking my ass. I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm doing a lot better than I did my first time in the first Dark Souls. But... The difficulty, eh, we'll see. So I'm going to rest at the bonfire. Um, that was pointless, because I'm already at the bonfire. Talk to the Emerald Herald? Is, is that what your title is? I guess. I know I need to save, but, uh, I mean, save up souls, but uh, let's go bigger one more time. Und, let us end this episode with a friendly act of generosity. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Sucks to be you, dude. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. You are hollowed as fuck. Either that or you're black as fuck. No, you're definitely hollowed. I'm... Bring me that key. Uh, I, I got your key. Oh, oh, you want me to actually use your key? Okay, you lazy fuck. Ah, yes. Very good. Now I can get to work. You, you see, you said bring me... But first, let me set up. Come again later. You said bring me that key. Chop, chop. Not bring my door my key. So, I mean... Let's just make sure that there's... I can't see why this would be a mimic here. Uh, short bow. Already have one of those. Alright, 
so uh, the blacksmith's shop is open for business, and I'm sure he'll be uh, running shit soon enough. So, uh, progress was made. I still haven't fought a boss, but uh, that's all right. I'm making progress galore. So I will see you guys on the next episode of Dark Souls 2. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Let me know what you thought with your comments and feedback. And if you really enjoyed the video, I've got a slew of other projects going on that I update regularly. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. Have a good day, everyone.